Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and we're going to do some more trig functions. Let's see, this one is evaluating uh, different trig um, things. So you've got to have a calculator that can do trig functions to make this work. And I'm going to see if my calculator will do it just like this. When we're doing trig functions, your calculator either, either wants that measurement in a degree or in radians. And depending on how your calculator is set up, it will or will not work. So just like um, imagine that we could measure something in feet or in meters. We can measure something in degrees or radians, and our calculator has to be set up to accept the correct unit. So I'm going to just try it straight up with um, cosine, cosine of 26, and that gave me 0.8. Uh, 0.898, which would round to 0 0.90 with the correct rounding. And let's see if it's right. So 0 0.90. Okay. So my calculator must be set to accept degrees. So on this one, I do hit the sign button and then the 50, and I get 0 0.766, which is 0 0.77 with the rounding. Cosine of 25 cosine 25.91 and what I'm doing is I'm really I'm just hitting like sine can I make my I don't think I can make myself bigger here sine and then hit 51 on my calculator and then 0.777 which is 0.778 nope 0.7 Okay, let's jump a level, see what happens when I get up a little higher. Tangent, write your answer as an integer or as a decimal. Okay, so I hit the tangent button on my calculator. I don't know if you can see that. Well, tan you can't see it. Right there, tangent. I hit tangent, and then I type in the degrees, 75 degrees, and I get 3.7. So 3.73 because of the rounding. Tangent of 62, 1.88. All right, let's jump a level. Sine of 52, there's nothing crazy going on there. Let's jump a level. Oh, I have to do three of them now. Still nothing crazy there. Jumping a level. Ah, this is awesome. Okay, I'm good. So, I'm going to draw. It's just an equation. So, sine of 52 is actually a number, right? Sine of 52. Sine of 52 is 0.788, which is 0 0.7, 0 0.788. It's going to be interesting with the rounding. So, 0 0.788 equals 6x. So I would divide it by 6, divide it by 6, which would give me 0.13. Now I'm just concerned that if I round it earlier, if I rounded this at 0.79 divided by 6, it's still going to give me 0.13. Uh, so 0.13 is going to be the answer. Just be cautious. If you get it wrong, it might be because of the rounding early on. So I'm going to recommend that you actually do the, the trig function and don't round it, and then do the division. So I'm going to go sine. All, all, in, all at once in my calculator, I'm going to go sine of 52, and I'm going to divide that by 6, and I get the 0.13. So notice I didn't do any intermediary rounding. I didn't do any rounding halfway through the problem. I carried all my decimals to the very end, and then at the very end, I rounded. So I'm going to do cosine of 71, and then I'm going to multiply it by 5. Cosine 71 times 5, 1.627, so 1.63. Sine of 20, 
Yeah, yeah. It's going to be pushing the edge of your ability. Here, I'll, I'll draw it out. Okay. So we have to solve it for x. So sine of 20 equals 2 over x. I'm going to multiply both sides by x. So what I have now is x sine of 20 equals 2. I'm going to divide both sides by sine 20, which is just a number, right? So it's 2 divided by sine of 20. 2 divided by sine 20, uh, 5.85. Same idea here. It's really just going to be Right? I'm going to multiply the x and I'm going to divide by the sine. It's going to be 4 divided by sine 84. 4 divided by sine 84. 4.02. This is going to be 10 times sine 86. 10 times sine 86. 9.97, which is going to be 9.98. Uh, sine 11 divided by 10. All right. Hey, that's it. Thanks for watching.